Hey, what's up YouTube? We uh, actually have finished this week's project. I didn't get in trouble for it like I thought I might since I uh, cut holes in the ceiling while pickle was away. But you will see that I didn't do a very good job cleaning up as she's behind me mopping very happily. Say hi pickle. All right, so here's the video this week. Uh, we actually put these speakers in the ceiling. You can kind of see one right there. Took me a minute to figure out which way to look. Uh, speaker right there. Uh, there's another one that's behind my head over there. And um, I will try and use my YouTube skills to put a video up here of actually the installation portion of the, or the hooking up of the speakers. Uh, this video is just going to be the cutting of holes in the ceiling and um, the tools we use to do that. And that's about it. So. Uh, we're figuring out this YouTube stuff and doing some edits and everything else. Ideally, I think this one took quite a few, quite a few days to do. So uh, ideally, we'll get a little faster at that. But here we go. Check out the video. Here are the items that you need in order to install Dolby Atmos speakers, at least the items that we needed. Gloves and a respirator. We were working in the attic, so uh, protection for your hands and um, lungs is important. Speakers, obviously to install the speakers, you need the speakers themselves, but also the template that comes with those speakers. Uh, if your speakers didn't come with a template, then best bet would be to trace a piece of paper so that you kind of have an idea of how big the hole is going to have to be. This will help you place it as you move forward. A drill. We put a hole right through the middle of the template so that we knew the exact middle of where we wanted the speakers and could check them out from below after we put the hole in the ceiling. Wires to mark those holes so they're easier to find. A roto zip. Um, this is like a big Dremel tool. Uh, you'll see in the video there's an attachment to it that allows you to cut holes very easily. If not, you'll have to find a way to cut a hole into your ceiling uh, in a circle. Obviously, can be done by hand with a bunch of different hand tools and items like that, but the roto zip makes it pretty easy. Uh, precursor to the video, you'll want to have a couple extra bits available if you're doing uh, plaster versus drywall. Safety glasses. Again, this is just protection from falling debris, and I even used those up in the attic with all the insulation that's loose and everything like that. Flashlights, again, working in the attic, it's nice to have light. The speaker wire, so that you can power your speakers once they're installed. A tape measure, this just helps you center and, and properly place them. A utility knife, um, just handy to have if you need to cut the speaker wire, uh, potentially to strip insulation or other items. I'm um, taking one step back. I actually used a laser level in addition to the tape measure to make sure that the placement was right, but that's totally optional. Uh, you'll see in the video that I'm a, I'm a little obsessive about uh, some of these items, so uh, did a little bit more than uh, maybe necessary. Wire nuts. Um, this is actually not necessarily for the same project. Uh, we tried to do two things at one time, uh, so I also took some wire nuts up to do some additional wiring for my projector. Uh, that didn't work, unfortunately, but I did take them with me. Wire strippers. Uh, I put a picture of these up here. These are the uh, Irwin Vice Grip style wire strippers. These are awesome tools. Uh, this was the first time that I had ever used them, but in terms of having to strip and deciding how much of the wire you want to strip, these are great. They work on all different sides or sizes of wire, so I highly recommend these wire strippers. If you don't have the, this particular kind, you don't need them. Um, but as uh, I continue to acquire more and more tools, I find that some of these specialty tools really do make the job really easy. Screwdrivers, these were just in case. Uh, I didn't actually use them for anything other than installing the speakers. Um, didn't need them up in the attic. Electrical tape, this was also just in case working with wiring. Uh, if a wire nut doesn't work or something else, it's nice to have the electrical tape. And finally, banana plugs. Um, again, this is kind of an optional item, but this just makes installing speakers a lot easier. So there will be 
In the video where I actually do all of the speaker install, you'll see the banana plugs and how to install them. So this is all the items that I needed for the project. Um, let's get into the actual video of how it all went. All right, we're back. So uh, up in the attic, I'm done sweating. Uh, the camera was running out of battery, so uh, I had to go charge that real quick. We are in the living room, trying not to give you too much of the sneak peek since uh, obviously we haven't done that video yet, so that will be coming shortly. Um, so what I did is I actually went up, I did everything. I did the quick video up there, came back down. I hate being up there. Ran seven and a half miles this morning, so I was cramping up there. No good. Um, so I'm going to stop the video and flip it around so that you can see some of the other tools that I'm going to use um, and give you an idea of what's next. So here we go. All right, so I'm a little OCD. Ignore the uh, garbage that needs to go out from the other room when we were taking down drapes. I'm a little OCD, and um, so this is a laser level. It's hard to see, but there is a line on the ceiling. And I'm trying to get it so that you can actually see on the camera. Oops, that is the crack. There we go. So there's the hole with the wire sticking out. You can see right there, it's sticking down. So that's where I'm gonna cut. Projector, and then here is the other one. And then down on the floor here, in the bright light, this camera doesn't like. This is, I call it a Dremel, but it's not really a Dremel. It's a Roto Zip, which is like a big Dremel. And you can see here, it has an attachment on it that allows you to cut the circle. So I made sure that the distance there is proper. Um, that, sorry, it's not focusing, that left little point will go into the hole where the wire is coming out and then this piece will go around the edge and then as you can see that spins around so uh, that was slightly off camera but I think you get the idea so that spins around and cuts the hole so we will then be putting speakers up into the hole wiring them up and life should be good uh, like I said not really that difficult of a project if I screw something up on the cut is where I'm going to get in trouble. So uh, wish me luck. The other thing is I have this blanket down because she's going to watch this video and then she's going to know. She's going to yell at me if there's uh, drywall dust everywhere. You can see that I didn't put it down, but I will get the vacuum out and clean that up. So um, here we go. Slight change of plans. I got this sweet angle. Um, and I will be able to just do it in front of you if all goes well. And just to be sure, test fit. Make sure it works before we go to the next one. And if it doesn't, I gotta find a place to sleep. That looks good.
So notice that I unplug the drill every single time. Nobody should yell at me for that. Mask on while I'm cutting, eyeglasses, all good practices. See that and now I know why my bits have been breaking off so number four should be enough to get this done anyways <laughs> 